sorry the sun is like tragically going down right now, but um, I'm here to do the $20 makeup challenge. Obviously, I already did it, and I will the tutorial will come up right after this. But I really had a lot of fun with this little challenge here. I was hoping to do it, and I went to Target, purchased a bunch of makeup, and decided, hey, let's do the $20 makeup challenge. Yes, there is foundation all over the bag because I had nothing to wipe the foundation off my hands on. So we're just going to pretend like that foundation is not even there. But I went to the store, purchased $20. Um, my, whole, my total without tax was $19 in a cent, but with tax it went over like 53 cents. So um, if you want to count it without the tax, I will love you because I did do it under 20 bucks if you don't count tax. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys want to do it, I would love to see you guys do the $20 makeup challenge. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Enjoy it. Yeah. Bye. Okay, so I'm starting off with the Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation. Um, this was my most expensive product I purchased for this challenge, and this was $5.89, so I'm applying that all over my face, and I'm going to blend that in with my fingers. Overall, I thought this was a super liquidy foundation. Um, the fact that it didn't have a pump and it wasn't squeeze tube, it was really hard to work with and get the right amount of product, so I ended up getting a little too much. Um, and I was ended up just, like starting to put stuff all over the face like trying to waste the product now I'm using it as also as a concealer overall. I think this foundation had really great great coverage and I really liked it and I still am starting to wear it to this day so yeah I feel like um, it kind of did what a concealer did if you doubled it up now I'm using the elf clarifying press powder and the puff that came with it this was a dollar so that brought our total to six dollars and 89 cents at the moment and now I'm also using that Rimmel match perfection um, foundation as a as a primer and sorry the sun was kind of going down um, and I'm now using the elf flawless eyes shadow set that it's two dollars and I'm taking the lightest color in that palette and applying that to my inner corner of my brow bone and then I'm using the lid color and I'm bringing that into onto the lid so you really couldn't see the colors clearly that's like a light violet purple and the shade that the palette was in is in happy hour I'm now using the um, grease color in my crease as well as my outer no I'm not using that in my outer corner just kidding and I'm trying to blend it out with my fingers as well I'm now using the liner color and applying that to the outer corner to add a little drama to the look and I dropped it and so I'm just going to apply that using the NYC liner and this ended up being like a dollar and something I forget how much and I'm going to line my eyes with the coal pencil I thought this was really hard to get a line out of um, I think it's also because it was supposed to be a brow pencil as well but it was super hard to and it kind of hurt me and made my eyes water when I lined my eyes with this so I don't I'm not a big fan of it I'm now applying this elf mascara which I did not like um, it clumped up my lashes like a crazy person and it was really bad and I just didn't like it so as you can tell there's my sad face now I'm using the elf um, blush and bronzer duo which was three dollars and I'm gonna apply that to my face so I'm contouring my face with that and so I'm contouring my face with that I'm also using the blush. I feel like with a different brush, this would have been a better product, but the brush was not good. Now I'm taking the e.l.f. lip stain, and I forget what color this is in, but it's a pink, and I'm applying that to my lips, and yeah, so that brought our total to $19 in a cent. So this is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, try it out and send me pictures on my Instagram, and yeah, love ya, and now let's get on to my hits and misses. this little tutorial you just saw I'm here to talk about my hits and misses of this little look so to start off the foundation was amazing I love this foundation for the price of this foundation I think it retailed for five bucks a little bit over five dollars um, it's really great the only con I have with this is it got all over my hands really it just I think I put on too much because I was trying to get rid of it and so yeah, I did also use this as my eye primer and I used this on my foundation and concealer and it did a very good job of concealing 
and covering. So I really like this. Next hit is the e.l.f. Flawless Eyeshadow in Happy Hour. Love. These are probably one of the most buttery eyeshadows ever. Really, really buttery, very smooth, very pigmented, and unlike anything I would actually think e.l.f. would come up with. Like, okay, that is like crazy pigmentation, and I'm sorry I have like a line on my hand, but like, okay, that looks really chalky. But until, when you, when you wipe it out, it like looks really pigmented, and the colors I really like, so I can't wait to go pick up like more colors. You can't see that. That's what it looks like. I can't wait to go pick up more colors of these. They are super buttery, super pigmented. And definitely awesome. They're about $2 and you get four different eyeshadows. So I also really like the colors in here. I think they're very pretty. Is the Elf Blush and Bronzer. This is what it looks like. The bronzer was a bit dark for me. I did do a very light hand because I know prior to this, I've tried this little product before and the bronzer was way too dark for me. So I did a very light hand with the bronzer. Blush on the other hand with a different brush, I think the blush would have looked really pretty, but the brush kind of didn't do these two products justice. But I like the products overall together. Now let's move on to my misses of this look. Um, I guess I'll say I have four products that just didn't do good for me. Um, first, I start off with the powder. This is the Elf Flawless Pressed, I mean Clarifying Pressed Powder. This is what it looks like. As you can tell, it's very yellow. And um, it's super duper powdery. Like, crazy over the top powdery. Very, very cakey. And this just broke my foundation. It did not make it look great. Next one is this Cole brow eyeliner pencil from NYC. This is probably one of the hardest liners to get color out of. It is like freaking, it is like a pencil. It's not creamy whatsoever. This liner, I seriously could not get really any line out of my eyes with this. And it just, no, I did not like it. This is this ELF 3-in-1 mascara and it's the length and define. And all I can say about this is I just super clumpy like I put this on and I was like one eyelash I mean two there was like two like clumps together and it just looked bad and yeah so I don't recommend this it was very clumpy on my lashes whereas the elf lip stain in pink petal I think yeah and this one didn't definitely like disappoint me but it was just it was just okay. It's not something I would go repurchase another color in or anything, so it's not anything special. And then last is this Elf Contouring. It scared me. Elf Professional Bronzing Brush, which is like this thin little baby. Thin, just crispy, nasty brush. Did not apply my, I mean, it did the job. It did it, okay, it did a job. It did the job, but it just, it didn't do a amazing job so I would not recommend this brush to anybody so yeah those are all my hits and misses I hope you guys enjoyed this $20 makeup challenge and yeah see you guys in my next video bye